Hello, I am Philip, consultant on deaf blindness for deaf blind enablement. As a deaf blind person myself, I am faced with the daily challenges of living in terms of communication and accessing information. I was born profoundly deaf and was diagnosed with Usher syndrome type 1 in my early 20s. My first recollections of the impact of my dual sensory impairment came from my childhood when I had problems seeing in the dark when walking back to my boarding house from school and feeling clumsy in the playground when jumping off walls. My experience of education was a rather mixed one, with teachers not really fully appreciating my needs in the classroom and overcoming many obstacles at university in my quest to gain my PhD in economics. In later life, I felt as if many doors were being slammed shut when my sight went down, gradually due to secondary cataracts, which made it nearly impossible to read text without any low vision aids. A wake up call came in 2005 when my sight almost went completely. For a few weeks and during that time, I really understood the frustrations of living without hearing and no useful sight. I felt some solidarity with deafblind people on just how difficult it was doing the most basic tasks that everyone takes for granted. At the lowest point, I had reached a situation that I was no longer able to watch TV with subtitles and the only books I could read were in braille. Reading through long emails was an arduous task through a braille display and I considered it a great achievement if I could manage to read through a few news stories on the BBC website. In 2010, I had my cataract operation, which was a liberating experience. It brought back some clarity of vision and made it possible for me to watch TV again and see the world in more vivid colours. Even so, I still have Usher and have to contend with glare from bright lights and cope with tunnel vision. One of the little annoying things is trying to look for something on a kitchen worktop until my field of vision catches on the object eventually. From personal experience, a few deaf-blind people do have additional disabilities that tend to compound the difficulties of dual sensory impairment, particularly with regard to communication and mobility. It is important that a holistic approach is undertaken to ensure that their needs are fully understood and met. In all the years of living with dual sensory impairment, I think you need to be creative in looking at new ideas and solutions to make daily living a bit easier. Of course, there will be ups and downs along the way, but it is determination and tenacity that keeps you going.